Hey everybody, this is Trent the Helpful Tech Teen again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Windows on your Mac using the latest version of Mac software. The first thing you'll want to do is get yourself a Windows disk and insert it into your computer. Then you're going to go to Boot Camp Assistant and uncheck download the latest Windows support software for Apple because that tends to glitch out and not fully download. So instead you're only going to click install Windows 7. When you click on the link provided in the description below, it'll pop you up to this page called um, Boot Camp Support Software Download. So this is on the Apple.com website. You're just going to click download and that might take a little while. I think it's almost a gigabyte. And then you can look at the uh, directions here. It basically is going to tell you that you're going to unzip it. So you're basically just going to double click it. And then you're going to go to your finder, find your disk, and you're just going to drag that icon from the desktop, the whole folder. You're just going to drag it into there. And that will copy all the Windows support software onto your disk. Once that is done copying, then go back to Boot Camp. And next, you're going to partition your hard drive. So with that little uh, dot, you can just click and drag it to whatever size you want your Windows partition to be. And then you're just going to click Install. After that, it should automatically power down your Mac and restart it. It should default to Windows, hopefully. And keep in mind, when you power your Mac back on, you must have the disk inserted in your, in your DVD drive. All right, and now Windows is coming up. There we go. So right now this is loading right off the disk that is in here. All right, now it's starting Windows. This is just after the Windows stopped loading files. So Windows is starting. Alright, now you'll just want to select your language and all that stuff. So that's pretty easy. You just click next. It usually defaults to what you want. And then you click install now. And then you want to accept and then click next. And once you get to this page, click custom. And once you get to this page of the installation process, you're going to select Boot Camp, but if it doesn't let you select Next, you're going to click on Drive Options Advanced, and then you're just going to click Format, and then click OK. And now it just formatted it to whatever it wanted, and you're going to click Next. This is after it has just installed all the updates and and all the data from the disk has been transferred over. The computer has now restarted and it's going to attempt to start Windows up again. And it looks like Windows is starting. So we'll see what happens. All right, now it's updating the settings that we just typed in. And it's starting everything up. 
you should be able to finish the installation process from here. It's basically just username, password, Wi-Fi network, etc., that kind of stuff. So I'll see you when you're done with that. And to switch between Windows and Mac, you have to shut your computer down. And then when you restart it, before you press the power button, hold your finger down on the left option key. This will allow you to switch between partitions. So now I'm just going to switch back over to Macintosh HD, double click, and then it'll boot up on the Mac side. And the same goes for Windows. And there you have it, back to Mac. And just to show you. And now to show you that I've successfully done it, I'll show you, here's the Windows disk right here. And now when I power it back on, it's going to run all by itself. And there you go, back to Windows, and I have no disk in there anymore. So it's all running independently. Thanks for watching, and expect more videos to come.